Hi guys, it's Kent with Cut Hub. We have come up with a new system for mounting our miter saw. We're going to be replacing this whole rail with our new rail. Let's get to it. All right guys, we've got our saw off of our pipes. We're gonna turn it over so we can get access to these rails because that's what we're gonna replace today. This system is gonna be replaced with your new system. A new bar is gonna go on each one of them. It's gonna come in a box like this. You're gonna get two new bars and a new shim table that's gonna tell you uh, the dimensions we need to have. Our very first step is we're gonna to need to take off each of these rubber bumpers. So I'm just gonna do one. Sometimes they're a little bit tight. You can grab on and just twist that off. You got four of these, just set them to the side for future use. All right guys, we've got all four knobs off. Now we've got to take the actual rail off. So you're gonna open up your shim package and you're gonna have a 1 8 inch Allen wrench in here. Uh, if you've got a bigger one at home, go ahead and use it, but you will have this readily available, so you won't need any other tools. So you've got four set screws here, and we've just got to remove them. Just break them loose once, and then you can thread them out pretty quick. You do not have to thread them all the way out. You just need to disengage it from this mounting stud. So we'll just do one. So you can see what's happening. Just slides right off, just like that. Then we're gonna take this and put it back on. So we've got them off. They're really easy to slide on. You should be able to just slide it right over the pipes. And being as it's an old system, you might catch a little bit of resistance. Don't worry about that. With the new screws, we've got eight set screws. So we're gonna slide each one of them on. You just bend those studs a little bit and you can see this one's a little bit tighter. Don't worry about that, it's pretty simple. And once we've got them on, now our shim package comes into play. We measured our saw height and we know for this Milwaukee it's a three and a half inch height. Our shim package says saw height, three and a half, back shim, inch and a quarter, front shim, inch and an eighth. I know I need an inch and a quarter and an inch and an eighth for mounting my saw or mounting these new brackets. It's important that as you look at it, the back is the back of the saw, so it's the one down. And I'm gonna stick this shim right here basically against it and I'm gonna push it down till it engages. Okay, you see how it's engaging right there? Once it's engaging, I'm going to tighten up only one of them. Okay, so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna tighten this down. It doesn't matter which one, but you're gonna tighten it until it engages with this black stud. Okay, I got it pretty tight. Now I need to do the front. So I'm gonna stick this inch and an eighth right here at the front where it is and I'm gonna put that pressure down as well. Notice I'm inside the black studs. The shim heights are different, if you remember, because that keeps our saw level with our, our, our cutting tables because the weight of the saw naturally pushes it back. Now I'm just gonna set this one until it engages. Now I've got it set. I can remove these. It's kind of tight to remove them. And I can reset all four, go around the system and I can set all eight of those screws. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing to this one. Okay, we've got our new mounting rails set, engaged with these black studs. The last step is to put our knobs back on. And I recommend that you use Loctite, but you barely have to put just a teeny little drop. Thread it back into the hole goes on real quick and as it gets to the bottom give it a nice good tug so that it's tight and the Loctite is going to keep it in place you'll still be able to get it off later but it's not going to wander off on its own so I'm going to do that to the other four and we'll move on hey guys as you can see we've got our new mounting kit ready to roll and engage on your old system goes on the exact same way you tilt it back and it locks in 
Make sure that these are up and we've got some sweet magnets that hold it in place so that you shouldn't have to worry about it. But it's going to go down again. Put pressure here. Now it's really important as you watch this, these knobs adjust. You do not want to be reefing on these. They twist and you just want to get it to the point that it engages with the pipe and you hear that little click. You don't want to be fighting it because you're going to start bending stuff up inside of this. Now the other one you can see, you just adjust it. If you're doing this, it's too tight. Loosen it up and you'll get the fill of it. That's too loose. Adjust it until you fill it, engage with the pipe. It's really simple. You're ready to go. All right, we've set our table exactly where we want it. We've got it locked in place. The last thing I like to do is just double check. You can see I've got about an eighth of an inch here, about an eighth of an inch here. You can find that, tune that to your preference. That's really important so that the material falls away from the saw and doesn't bind. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoy it. See you later.